Hey y'all, this is Joe with St. Bernard Acres. This is Monday, May 4th. I'm on my way to the terminal uh, up north of Washington, PA to pick up my solar panels. So, <laughs> they only have dock workers there from 8 to 10 and 4 to 7. So I'm trying to get there before 10 a.m. And we'll see how this works out. But I'm happy to get to go get my solar panels now. I'll be back. Action. Alright. Hey y'all, this is Joe. And Gail. Gail behind the camera. These are the solar panels. I went and picked them up this morning from the freight company. And uh, I'm going to open them up now. Check them out. And I'm going to test them, each one. To make sure we're good. Now... I only paid $50 per panel. Well, $45 for the, the, the off. So, I'm going to put them in the air. So, these four 250 watt solar panels was $180. You can't buy one new one for $180. So, if they test out at 25%, I'm still ahead of the game. Um, but I think they're going to be fine. So, I'm going to get taking this apart and we'll see what we get. <laughs> These are they. big yes it is so the important thing to check if you'll come around back here these are kind of worn out but you want your open circuit voltage your walk is 37.6 got to remember that number and your uh, IMP, but well it doesn't show it there, but we want 8.27 amps. That your current is 8.27. So we want our voltage six. and our amperage. That's what we're going to test. And these are not like ideal conditions, but this will give me a clue whether or not they're working. Let me turn this around. So we're getting sun on it. Pull out the wires. These have the MC4 connected on them. The sun is up there, so I'm going to try. Don't lay them flat, because Charlie might think it's like a tanning bed. I know. Uh, I need to get it kind of flat. If I can, you'll get that side. I want to slide it back up here a little bit. All right. That's going to get it the best amount of sun. And these are standard MC4 connectors. Let me see. Okay. Well, it wasn't too bad out here with no coat on when it wasn't so windy. Now you it's too windy. No, I'm okay. I'll, I'll... All right. So on my meter here, my cheap little meter, I'm going to be checking voltage. So I'm going to set your common. Goes to black. Negative goes in the voltage because that's what I'm going to be testing. And you go to the highest number after what you're looking for. We want 37.6. So I'm going to test them at 200. And you're going to have to come over here in the shade, Gail. You know, see if you can see what that number is going to read. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. What are we reading? 36.0. 
Oh, I'm blocking part of it, all kinds of crap. <laughs> okay, see if that changed it. 36.2. 36.2. Let me find it in the camera here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 36.2. That's not too bad. Like I said, that's not in optimal conditions out here. I could be okay with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is check it for amps. So I'm going to have to move my positive lead to the amps and we're looking for 8.2 so I'm going to go to 10 amps and see what we get oh shit oh 8.64 8.64 yes 8.65 yeah Good. Try it again. 8.65. Dang, that's perfect. All right. So, let me turn this off. This is some good juice coming through these things. Uh, so, I'm going to set this one down. If you'll help me. Can I turn this off? Yeah. It, it, all right. What I needed to test. I was saying 8.27. My short circuit current is 8.85. And we were getting 8.6, 8.65 yes. yes. off the first panel. So now I'm going to try this one and see where we wind up. If you'll hit pause, you can help me set it. Let's see if we can get enough amperage out of this. And here we go. OL. And you were. Oh, I don't have it on. Oh, okay. Let me put it <laughs> like... back to. Damn. I'm like, OL. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. That's not good. It shouldn't be over here. Because oh. this one... Oh, I'm, I got the wrong angle. Okay. Let's go to 10 amps. Let's try it again. 8.44. 8.44. Yes. 8.45. I got no problem with that. That's awesome. All right. Now let me try my voltage. And then that gets turned to 200. Yep. All right. Let's see what volts we get. Uh, 36.7. Awesome. All right. Pause. So okay. I'm going to show you. 200? Yeah. I'm going to set my meter to 200. Okay, look over here. I'll show you how I do this. This is my positive. This is my negative. I'll stick my lead down in there. Make sure I'm in that one. Put my positive in here. And, and see what we're we get. at 37.0. Yeah, we're trying for 37.6. How awesome is that? Yep. All right. Now. We're going to take it down the battery. Change my lead. To 10? Yep. We'll check my amperage. And we want 8.85. Let me stick my negative in. And my positive. 8.57. Good enough for me. All right. So ideally, before you test your panels, these are dirty, they're dusty. You'll clean them all off and get an even better reading. Like I said, these are not optimal conditions. So, I'm gonna do amps first because I'm already set. I'm in the amps mode there. Yeah, 10, right? Yep. So let's see what kind of power this one gets us. Put my negative in.
8.55. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Change my lead over to Vol uh, Volts. Three, uh, 37.1, 37.2. 37.2. Yeah. Perfect. We're looking for 37.6. All right. So, now, help me just set this one back down. Action. So, we've tested all four panels now. They're all four fine. Um, I'll tell you, I bought them from a place called Santan Solar out of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I can tell you this now that I've tested these and made sure everything was good. They uh, they were really nice to deal with on the phone. And uh, I placed the order. My niece bought a bunch of them and she's the one that turned me on to it. I placed the order and uh, had to call them because I forgot to put in the code to get the discount. So they went ahead and refunded me back on my credit card, the discount, and said we can get cheaper shipping because I had selected one thing. And they said, well, we can get it over here for less money for you. And they went in and took care of all that. So kudos to them. They, they were very nice to deal with, very knowledgeable, and gave me very good product or use solar panels for 50 bucks a piece. You can't go wrong with them, I don't think. So, that's it. That's how you test these things. That's how easy it is to test what you're buying. And I feel 100% confident now building a rack and putting these things together. So, I hope y'all found this helpful. Remember, like, comment, share. If you're not subscribed, you better hit that button and subscribe because we're going to be putting this whole system together out of the cabin. And there's going to be a whole lot of work to do here on the cabin. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so that you know when I upload a video. But I love these things. <laughs> this is Joe and Gail. We're out.